I want to preface this video by stating that if you think that I'm milking the jelly bean thing, well then you're very much right because I, 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 I am, I am. I've been passionate about this topic for the past couple of weeks slash months and I probably should have made a video on it. If you want to know why I was way too lazy and didn't think it would get any views at the time, hindsight 2020 or 2022 I guess you could say. But for those wondering, yes I am making a lot of videos on this topic, especially if more things happen to come out. Now for those who are unaware of what I'm talking about, which you can't be at this point, I'm, I'm physically doubting that you can be unless you just like not been looking at your YouTube notifications or even just any YouTube videos in general for the past what couple of like days or weeks well, I wouldn't say weeks maybe about a day a couple of days maybe a week at most but essentially I'm here to talk about the youtuber slash content creator slash YouTube short creator etc etc jelly bean they make sort of loud boisterous content that I personally don't find entertaining but that's been sort of one of the main focuses that have been revolving around her in these situations that's the fact that her content is cringe which honestly I don't care about uh, it's simply content being uh, criticized by a bunch of different YouTubers, which isn't honestly that bad. You know, you can have your opinion on the content, but when it comes to situations where there's like actual drama and things that are could be talked about, that's sort of where I chimed in. In my past two, three videos on Jelly Bean, I've essentially talked about all their dramas that have recently been, you know, shined to the public, which in almost every single one of those situations, I was on the side of Jelly Bean because they seemed a little unnecessary and people were sort of just nitpicking or just blatantly making up false claims. Now, I want to preface by stating two things. There should be a time step on screen for where to you can skip to if you've already seen what has happened with the original situations as I'm going to be giving a brief summary before I do get into the video so if you are interested in hearing about the prior situations because somehow you haven't heard about them already you can watch through it but for those who've already known which is a majority of the people watching go to that timestamp now I also want to preface by saying that you should subscribe you get free content not on a daily basis even though these past five days or so I have been popping off with the daily uploads but on a sort of three to two day basis so if you'd like to see this more like sort of content then please suggest it down below and by showing your support with a subscribe like in the video would spend it out to more people as I think one of my opinions is sort of more over the rare ones in the sense that I'm defending jelly bean so if you did enjoy this video then I recommend liking but in case you do ever miss an upload from this channel which you shouldn't because you're subscribed with notifications on right but if per se YouTube skips one of my notifications for one of my videos which is what something they do on the platform just a little bit then go down and follow my Twitter as I usually will promote my video videos at the time of their release or a little bit after they release depending on the circumstances so it would really help the channel a lot and overall so essentially the first situation sort of go along the lines of this i'm going to try and speed through these pretty quickly but if you'd like a full sort of summary video go watch my past two videos on these situations one of their first reoccurring dramas was essentially the moon drop drama in which they essentially called the fictional animatronic from five nights at freddy's security breach a well p word or i'm going to call it a uh, a predator in this video for the sake of me making money but <laughs> Sorry, I just threw away. <laughs> table, you pedophile! It's past your bedtime. You must be punished. No, he's a pedophile! He's a pedophile, chat! He's a pedophile! No me gusta! No me gusta, chat! Motherfucker! Motherfucker! Chat! Where the fuck do I run? Chat! Where do I run? A lot of people got stirred up about this, even some of Jelly Bean's TikTok haters, which I found sort of ironic in my past videos, as they have been known for being horribly edgy when it comes to making fun of Jelly Bean and their content, so it's ironic to see them get so mad over a simple joke. The other situation is where the community of Jelly Bean haters had essentially faked a screenshot of Jelly Bean saying the N-word and paraded it around TikTok as if it was real. Many people that were unaware were under the assumption that it was real, had one around parading it on TikTok, which I honestly can't blame them, especially if it was unaware of this allegation that's horribly serious so spreading it around making people aware would be a good decision but more research would be required if you make these blasphemous claims but it is a shame to see like a tiktok ecosystem just break down onto one creator to try and get their platform taken away from them simply because they don't like their content but i essentially stated how that illustrates the community of jelly bean harassers slash haters in my previous videos i do recommend you going and checking those out because i feel like they were pretty good videos in my opinion there were many other dramas that i did talk about within those videos but those are the ones that I just wanted to main mention because they sort of illustrate again the jelly bean hater community but as of recent uh jelly bean has responded to a lot of the situations but i've essentially made a sort of meme post on twitter which i think illustrates their opinion on their whole drama and uh, basically the entire internet hating them now hear me out here it is a twitter post of a wojack meme and i know you're already stating right off the bat salty you're an idiot this is clearly not any form of response to the drama it's just a joke which yes it can be seen as a joke and it likely 100 percent is but you know i take anything to make content off of so 
I will take this. But essentially, this is a tweet right here on screen. It's a Wojak meme of people dancing saying Jelly Mid and then Jelly Bean's character slash persona being drawn in the Wojak format saying they don't know it's an internet persona. Now again, I'm gonna state this full for 100% through. This is likely a joke. I'm, I'm gonna be entirely honest. This is like most likely a joke because there's little way I can see this actually being real, but I'm still gonna talk about it as if it was because it does portray some of the situation in a better light. This is likely an internet persona because this joke was pretty funny and you know, I still don't believe that Jelly Bean is actually this annoying and blasterous in real life. I'm sure they don't go around their like high school life screaming at the top of their lungs and making cringe band kid reddit jokes, which are not really funny in the sense of the word. I'm sure they don't do that. I'm sure they live like a normal person and have their online persona be this so they can, you know, catch a bag, which is what some of these people on TikTok, and I'm only stating on TikTok, the majority of YouTubers actually know this because they know how making, getting a platform works. Majority of the people don't, on TikTok don't understand the concept of making money, getting attention, even if it's negative publicity, because in this case, the publicity isn't even that negative aside from the negative situations, because the cringe content thing, sure, whatever, but they still have like about 1 million actual fans, and I believe that platform is well-deserved as people can think about whatever content they want to think about as good or bad as it's subjective matter. People are saying like, oh, content's lazy, it's loud, annoying, it's not good. Okay, but like, that's your opinion. I've had multiple people comment in my comment section on these videos that they actually enjoy Jelly Bean's content. And whenever someone hears the fact that like 1 million people actually enjoy Jelly Bean's content, they say, oh, you guys are, you guys are kids, you guys are annoying, you guys are stupid. They just respond in the most immature ways possible because they can't grasp the concept of subjective opinions, but then they use them themselves. I believe anyone that has a platform rightfully deserves it unless they've done something that's horribly negative, which then again, oh, you could be saying, oh, well, she said the N-word, oh, she called this character a predator. Wrong, again, first of all, that was a joke, and clearly you can't take one. It was literally just a baseless accusation for the second one, with only, like, a screenshot to back it up, which then again, at the time of that, like, screenshot coming out, I don't believe, and this is saying a belief, so take this claim with a grain of salt, Jellybean was even using that profile picture at the time. Might I add, the screenshot was horribly cropped and extremely low quality. That was the highest quality I could find it in, and it was even that bad. But what are my opinions on things? I have been giving it in the past minute or so, but I'm going to make it more condensed and sort of more organized before I finish off this video at a sweet, juicy eight minutes. But essentially, in this situation as a whole, I'm going to be making more videos on this, by the way. I feel like people are being extremely immature talking about Jelly Bean in the fashion that they are, especially on TikTok, as she's literally 16 and has this big of a platform. People are acting like she walks around and acts like this in real life, and they also get mad at any people that support her in any which way, and when confronted with actual points, they just deny it and be extremely edgy, but then they turn around and get mad at edgy jokes. They don't take anything into account, uh, they don't do any research, that's a big thing. They don't look into claims because they're just stupid. Like, no offense if you don't like Jelly Bean's content, uh, there's certainly people that are intelligent that don't like her content, as saying that's, like, majority of the YouTubers, but, like, some of these TikTokers are out of their mind. But, uh, yeah, that's about it for this video. If you did enjoy, then I do recommend recommend you going and subscribe. I actually encourage it because, you know, my content is fabulous. Maybe not this video was not a good example, but I did just try and make it so that I could get a video pumped out because I'm trying to keep this daily upload streak going by just by a thread. Liking the video would spread it out to more people, and if you got into this point, comment salty is funny and cool because, you know, I am. Following me on Twitter would update you about content things, just some unfiltered opinions on things that I find interesting, and overall it'd be a great help. But uh, yeah, I hope you had a great time watching this video, and bye.